Continuing on with how to set up survey annotation, the next thing we want to talk about is how to take advantage of attribution that is assigned during the field survey. And so if I take an example here of some mapping that was done in the field, you'll see here on line number 342, they took a survey point shot of a tree. And so you have the northing, the easting, elevation, etc. But before we go to the next shot, we have two additional lines for attribution. And we have, for example, the AT, which stands for an attribute. Then we have TN size and TV and a value. The size and the 24 inch is the information that we would need to comprise a label. So let's say that we wanted to make a label that says 24 inch dash maple for this particular entry. And so you will see that we have uh, the attributes in place for the 24 inch maple and everything else that you see on these two lines is set up as part of the field uh, data pickup and depending on the type of data collector and software that you're using. But these are called attribute lines that we want to place on this particular survey shot. So in our DGN library, I still have referenced in the survey file that has that tree mapped. And so what we want to do now is to build a label uh, to place on that tree. And so it's going to be the similar process that we did for the control point label, but in terms of how we build our text favorite is going to be a little bit different. And so we're going to select to place text. And again, I want to select my style. And so I'll go down into my style and I'm going to pick survey topo label. And that sets up my fonts, my text size, etc. And then I'm going to begin to build my insert fields. And so go down to insert field. Again, we're going to be using element properties for this. We're going to select our tree and go down to our point feature. And here you're going to see an attributes pair. And so I'm going to select the attributes pair. And so you have size, 24 inch, and type is maple. And you can see that the two entries are there. And so what you have to do is select the attributes pair line and replace the null or the dash there with the first attribute names and it'll return the preview of 24 inch. So if I type in size, I see a preview of 24 inch. Then I'm going to do a space dash space. And then I'm going to go back to my element properties. I'm going to select that field again. So I'll scroll down, select it. And this time I'm going to type the second attribute name, which is going to be type in my example. And you'll see that it returns the word maple. Okay, so we have 24 inch dash maple. Again, the rest of the process is going to be the same. We'll select it, we'll right click, we will save the text favorite, and then you just need to go in and rename that text favorite. And so if I rename that 24 inch, for example, to, we'll go ahead and right click, rename, survey topo tree label. There you go, survey topo tree label. Or because it's a size and type, remember size and type could be used for a lot of different things besides a tree. So you could come back and call this survey size type, which makes more sense because then you can use that on several different field codes. And then we'll go ahead and press enter survey size dash type label, press enter to then rename that particular text favorite. And again, the rest of that process is going to be the same. Once the text favorite is made, we can go to now create our annotation. So under our annotation groups, I'm going to make another new entry here. And I'm going to call this, and remember, it doesn't really have anything to do with a tree. So I'm going to call this survey size dash type label. 
I'm going to go ahead and keep the spelling just the same. And that way the uppercase kind of represents the attribution that we used. And so survey size dash type label. And with this, we can create it. We can come in and manage. And again, the rest of this is going to be pretty much the same. We want to add as a horizontal point label. Uh, you may want to use different uh, element templates for these. That's fine. Uh, just kind of showing the example here. Uh, we know we don't have a leader. And the placement on the tree label, for example, I believe I put in just a vertical offset here, something like 005 for Imperial. And then the last thing I need to do is just select the uh, size and type. And so we'll go into our survey and we're going to pick one for our size and type. You'll see our entry there. So survey attribute size type. And again, don't worry about the content. Uh, that's going to be taken care of when it's mapped. It doesn't matter if it's a pipe or a tree or anything else. We have survey attribute size and type. So once that's closed, we'll go ahead, or once that's once that's completed, we go ahead and, and close this. And then we just come up to our symbologies like we did before. And I'm going to go down to points existing. And this is going to be under landscaping. And let's say, for example, under tree, I go to properties and under our annotation group. We'll have that entry to select now, so we'll go down to our survey size type label, and that will then complete that when we do our annotations. And so again, if we jump back over to our survey file, and let's go ahead and move over to one of our trees. This is some trees down in this area, and we'll come into annotate model. We'll accept that. Let that go ahead and process. And then you're going to see we have our different uh, size dash type labels in place for our trees using the attributions from our data. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.